help people protect themselves. ABC 4's Jared Jatanini has more on what Taylor Cooperative is stitching together. Now, what's happening inside of Taylor Cooperative in Salt Lake City could potentially be helping people who live out on the streets one face mask at a time. Do you want it single breasted, double breasted? Do you want four buttons on the sleeve, five buttons on the sleeve? Those are the dimensions Taylor Cooperative co owner Adam Momborg is used to. But amid the coronavirus pandemic, right now we are closed to the two clients. Taylor Cooperative has transitioned. They are three layers. We have a horsehair canvas inside. Into making face masks, both for sale and disposable masks to donate. We haven't laid off anyone on our team. Two tailors have made hundreds of masks and donated thousands of disposable ones. The most recent donation 500 masks to Salt Lake County's homeless resource centers. We are so grateful because the need is great. Uh, in order to protect uh, against COVID 19, really masks are critically important, especially to those who can't. Always socially distanced. And although the governor has allowed for a soft reopening for some local businesses, I don't think this is going to change anytime soon. So we're going to keep making masks. We're going to keep donating masks. Now, Taylor Cooperative plans to reopen tomorrow by appointment only. The masks they're making here are $25 for online purchase. And if you'd like to donate any other personal protective equipment to Salt Lake County, there are donation bins outside of the government center. Jared Jotinini, ABC 4 News.